Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 14.2 y equal e to the power x. 14.2 represents chapter 14, section 2 of the person A level maths, pure maths, year 1, textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Firstly, let f of x equal e to the power x. The graph of f of x equal e to the power x is something like this. If I substitute x equals 0, I get y equal e to the power 0, which is y equal 1. Hence, the y-intercept is y equal 1. The curve does not cut the x-axis, hence the equation of the asymptote is y equal 0. Minus f of x is equal to minus e to the power x. It is a reflection of f of x in the x-axis. So if I take f of x equal e to the power x and I reflect in the x-axis, I get something like this. This curve does not cut the x-axis, hence the equation of the asymptote is y equal 0. f of minus x. If I go back to f of x equal e to the power x, I can replace the x's with minus x. Hence, f of minus x is equal e to the power minus x. It is a reflection of f of x in the y-axis. So, if I take y equal f of x and I reflect it in the y-axis, I get something that looks like this. Okay, now if you look at this curve, it does not cut the x-axis, hence the equation of the asymptote is y equal 0. If y is equal e to the power g of x, where g of x is any function, then dy over dx, the first derivative, is calculated by differentiating the power, bringing it down. So we've got g dash of x, e to the power g of x, where g of x is the original power, or you could say the original function. These are the key facts of 14.2 y equal e to the power x. I'll be implementing these key facts within exam style questions. Let's have a look at exam style question 1. Sketch labelling the y-intercept the graph of part a, y equals 6 minus 5 e to the power x, part b, y equals 2 e to the power minus x minus 3. Let's have a look at part a. Ladies and gents, the first step is to find the equation of the y-asymptote. So we've got y-asymptote. The constant term on the outside is 6, hence the equation of the y-asymptote is y equal 6. Now we're going to determine the shape of the graph. So we've got a negative e to the power x. A negative e to the power x takes on this shape. Now we're going to work out the y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, we need to substitute x equals 0. So substitute x equals 0. So this implies that y is equal 6 minus 5 e to the power 0, which implies that y is equal 6 minus 5 multiplied by 1. Hence y is equal 6 minus 5, therefore y is equal 1. Now I'm going to sketch the graph. x-axis, y-axis, the y asymptote is y equals 6. And the y intercept is 1. And this is my shape of the graph. So the graph looks something like this. Okay, so that there is the graph y equals 6 minus 5e to the power x. Let's have a look at part b. So now we've got the equation y equal 2e to the power minus x minus 3. The first step is to find the equation of the y asymptote. So we've got y asymptote. The constant term on the outside is minus 3. So the equation of the y asymptote is y equal minus 3. Now we need to determine the shape of the graph. So over here we have e to the power minus x. So e to the power minus x takes on this shape. Okay, now we're going to find the y-intercept by substituting x equal 0. This implies that y is equal to e to the power minus 0 minus 3. So y is equal to multiplied by 1 minus 3. Hence, y is equal to minus 3, so y is equal minus 1. Okay, so now we're going to sketch the graph. x-axis, y-axis. 
So I've got y asymptote y equal minus 3. And um, I've got a y intercept of minus 1. Okay, and this is the shape of the graph. So my graph will look something like this. To put the icing on the cake, I can label the graph as y equal 2 e to the power minus x minus 3. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 1. Moving on to exam style question 2. Differentiate with respect to x, part a, 8x squared minus 1 over e to the power 6x, part b, 2e to the power minus x multiplied by 4e to the power 5x minus 3, all in brackets. Let's have a look at part a. Ladies and gents, the first step is to let y equal 8x squared minus 1 over e to the power 6x. The first term can be differentiated straight away, but the second term we have to rewrite. Hence, the entire equation y is equal 8x squared minus, if we bring the e up, this will negate the power. So the power becomes minus 6x. Now we can do term by term differentiation. So dy over dx is equal, let's differentiate the first term with respect to x, 2 times 8 is 16, x to the power 2 take away 1, which is just 1. So we have 16x. Now to differentiate an exponential, we have to differentiate the power, bring it down, e to the original power. So if we differentiate minus 6x with respect to x, we get minus 6. Minus 6 multiplied by minus 1 is positive 6. e to the power minus 6x. Moving on to part b. The first step is to let y equal 2e to the power minus x multiplied by 4e to the power 5x minus 3, all in brackets. We need to first expand the brackets. So we've got y equal 2 times 4 is 8, e to the power minus x plus 5x, that's 4x. Then we've got 2e to the power minus x multiplied by minus 3. That is minus 6e to the power minus x. Now we can do term by term differentiation. Again, to differentiate an exponential, you need to differentiate the power, bring it down, e to the original power. Okay, so we have dy over dx is equal, if we differentiate 4x with respect to x, we get 4, 8 times 4 is 32, <clears throat> e to the power 4x. Now over here, if we differentiate minus x with respect to x, we get minus 1. Minus 1 multiplied by minus 6 is positive 6. So we have positive 6 e to the power minus x. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 2. Let's have a look at exam style question 3. Given that f of x is equal e to the power 4x, find the exact equation of the tangent at the point where x is equal a half on the curve with the equation y equal f of x. Ladies and gents, I'm going to start by sketching f of x equal e to the power 4x, and then I'm going to label the tangent to this curve at the point x equal a half. So here is my sketch. x-axis, y-axis. e to the power 4x looks something like this. So that there is f of x equal e to the power 4x. If I substitute x equals 0, I get e to the power 4 times 0, which is e to the power 0, hence that there is 1. So the y-intercept is 1. Now we've got x equal a half, so x equal a half will be somewhere here. We want to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point x equal a half. So I'm going to sketch in the tangent. So it looks something like this. Okay, right. Now, to find the equation of the tangent, we need the y-coordinate that the tangent passes through, and we also need the gradient of the tangent. Firstly, let's calculate the y-coordinate when x is equal a half. So we've got x equal a half. We can substitute this into the function f to work out the y-coordinate. So y is equal f of a half. So this must equal e to the power 4 times a half e to the power 2 in exact form. Okay, so I can label this on my graph. 
So that there is e to the power 2. Right, now I'm going to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point x equal a half. To do this, I need to find the gradient function. In other words, I need to work out f dash of x. So f dash of x is equal. We differentiate the power 4x with respect to x. This gives us 4. So we do 4 times 1, which is 4. So we have 4 e to the power 4x. Now I can find the gradient of the tangent at the point a half e to the power 2. Okay, so to do this, I need to substitute x equal a half into the gradient function. So f dash of a half is equal 4 e to the power 4 multiplied by a half, which is 4 e to the power 2. Okay, so what I have now is m, the gradient of the tangent, which is 4 e to the power 2. And I know that the tangent passes through the coordinate a half e to the power 2. So I can label this as x1, y1. And now I can simply apply y minus y1 equal m multiplied by x minus x1 all in bracket. So if I substitute the values in, I get y minus e to the power 2 is equal 4 e to the power 2 multiplied by x minus a half all in bracket, right? So I've got y minus e to the power 2 is equal, expand the brackets, so 4 e to the power 2 x minus 2 e to the power 2. I can take minus e to the power 2 to the right hand side. So I've got y equal 4 e to the power 2 x minus 2 e to the power 2 plus e to the power 2. Therefore, the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point x equal a half is y equal 4 e to the power 2 x minus e to the power 2. And that there, ladies and gents, completes exam style question 3 and this teaching video 14.2 y equal e to the power x. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive a notification every time I post a new teaching video.